Why now? Why did you decide to do the Sports Illustrated? Because for so long you've just been keeping to yourself about this. What made you decide to do it? Well, you know, when uh, when Gary Smith from Sports Illustrated contacted me and told me what he wanted to do, you know, about uh, you know keeping the light on the on the issues at hand. Um, you know, we, we talked about America's coming numb to to school shootings. You know, it, it's it's you know, coming part of everyday life now, it seems like. And we wanted to make sure that that doesn't happen, that, you know, the ultimate tragedy is is that uh, we lost three young men that day. And, uh, you know, all the accolades that I've, I've received since then, you know, is has you know nothing compared to what the, the, the fact that we lost those three young men. That's the most important thing that we need to understand. And we can't let that happen in our schools. Mm -hmm. What what can be done? And then I'll get back to the article. But what would you like to see done? We need to communicate. We need to uh, we need to talk with our kids. We need to be able to uh, communicate on, on a personal basis. And, and, and part of that is, you know, when I took the job here at Lakeside, I gave each kid a card and had my number on it. And I said, if you're in trouble, if you you know, day or night, if you're somewhere Friday night that, that you shouldn't be, you call me and, and I'll I'll come get you. I'll take care of you. Make sure you you get somewhere safe. We need that personal relationship with our kids this day. And uh, the kids, the stuff the kids face today, it's nothing compared to what, I mean, when I was growing up, you know, the, the issues were totally different. It's, it's, it's much, much tougher than today's for these kids. So we need people that are willing to step up and, and, and get personal with these kids. You know, I'm not surprised that you say that because I just read the article on the way out and, and they call you the protector. You consider yourself a protector of these kids. Uh, I'm definitely a worrier. I always worry about, um, about my about my kids and um, both here and Chardon, you know. Um, um, so yeah, I, I worry about my kids. I want to take care of them, and make sure um, you know they're, they're they're okay and they have what they need. You know, um, I was my mother and father's pride and joy. I want to make sure everybody is somebody's pride and joy. You you've been in sports all your life. You played football in high school and college. You were a wrestler. Now you're a coach. Sports Illustrated must be a big deal for you. It's a very big deal. You know, growing up, um, I'm almost 40 now, and growing up we didn't have ESPN, and Sports Illustrated was, that was the big thing. Every week you get that Sports Illustrated article, and um, uh, you read the articles in it and stuff. It, it was pretty awesome as a kid growing up. And, uh, you know, I've always dreamed of being on a Sports Illustrated cover, but I was holding the Vince Lombardi trophy in a Browns uniform, so... Um, you know, I, I wish I never was on the cover, um, considering how I got there. But, um, yeah, it, it's definitely an honor and a, a privilege. So you've dreamed of it, but you didn't think it would be this way. No, uh, and I wish I wasn't, you know. Um, again, I'm very thankful for the job that Gary did. It's a beautiful article. Um, you know, the, the, the pictures are, are tremendous, um, but, you know, in a second, I give it all back if, if, if we didn't have to go through this. What do you hope people get out of it when they read this article? What do you want them to take away from it? You know, um, it, I talk to my kids about goals, and, and sometimes we, we, we lose sight of the goals that are important. You know, uh, being a lawyer or a doctor or even a news reporter, those aren't the goals we should be working for. We should be working for goals about the type of person we want to be. Um, Person of integrity and honor and character, and um, that's why I, I, I want people to understand: it's the person you're going to be. That's the goal you should have, not not the person, the job you want to be, but the person you want to be. Why'd you come back to Ashtabula? Chardon meant so much to you. Why'd you come here? You know, um, and I hear it's a pay cut. Uh, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> um, you, you know, um, Chardon's a great place, and. Uh, uh, there's a lot of great teachers there, great coaches, great administrators. Um, um, and the coaches there were tremendous. They loved the kids. They took care of the kids. And, you know, I come back here, and we have great teachers here and great administrators here. Um, and I wanted to make sure that the coaches were here were great also, that we wanted to make sure the kids knew that they were loved and cared about, um, you know, from all the way from the starting quarterback to the – the, the last guy in the, on the JV team that they're all cared about. So that's why I came back, you know. Um, uh, as the first person in my family to graduate from college, and, um, you know, there's still a lot of kids here who's going to be the first person to graduate from college. And I, I want to be a part of that. I want to help them, you know, achieve that dream. Did you think 
I mean, do you think some of them think they weren't cared about? Why do you think that's so important that you needed to do that? Um, you know, it, it's so it's so so easy. You know, Ashtabula's right now, you know, struggling economically, like most towns and uh, small towns in, in, in across the country. And um, it's easy for some kids to fall through the cracks. You know, um, we have a lot of great people here at Lakeside that work hard to, to try and get those kids. And I, I just wanted to do my part and uh, help um, you know find those kids in the cracks and 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 show them that they're cared for and and. and you know that you know they are somebody's pride and joy, even if it's my pride and joy. And you have four I children, have, four adopted children. Yes, four adopted children. Um, Quincy, who's our oldest, and then Christian, and uh, we have Sean and Mark, who are our youngest uh, twins. And another one on the way. We're we're working on it. Uh, my wife, she's uh, she, she's starting to feel like we're ready for another one, and so we're starting the process now. And uh, um, why do you yeah. do it? I mean, that's a daunting task to raise four kids and maybe five. You know, people talk, often say you're such a blessing for those kids, but um, I, I couldn't imagine a day without them. They're, uh, they're my pride and joys. Just love children. Yep. How did Chardon change you that day of the shooting? How did it change you? Um, You know, I, I don't know if it um, if it really changed me. I you know I uh, um, I've always prided myself in being someone who cared about kids, and um, it made me tougher. I, I would say that it, you know it made me tougher it, uh, um, to stand up against you know uh, things that aren't, aren't right and, 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 and challenges. You know. That I know that I can face now, and uh, if I was saying it made me tougher, uh, the things I've gone through. So, how did you get through it? Give us some advice when we have to face challenges like that. Uh, on my knees, um, I know that greater is He that's in me than that's in this world, and uh, you know the Lord is with me every step of the way. Um, you know, like the old footprints poem says, at times there was only one set of footprints, and at that time He was carrying me. So, on that was, day, yeah, the Lord was definitely with me all the way, and. Um, you know, it was, um, it was something that, that he did that got me through it all. And, uh, a lot of friends and family prayers and, uh, it was definitely the Lord. Did I understand in reading the article that you chased him, you chased the gunman down the hall and out the building? Yeah. And, and kept him from shooting other kids along the way, I would suppose. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, I, 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 and, and you know, time like that, you don't have a lot of time to think. You just kind of react, and um, and you know, you understand that uh, when he, when I ran, when I chased him out of the cafeteria, and he went down the hallway. Uh, I knew there was classrooms down there, and we just couldn't let him get into those classrooms. So, um, so yeah. he's like firing at you. Well, uh, not down the main hallway, just in the cafeteria. But uh, I, I think I, I, I scared him a little bit, and hopefully. Um, it worked out, and um, we were able to get him out of the school. And then you came back and comforted the other kids in the building. Yeah, you know, that's what I was, um, uh, I'm very thankful I was able to be there for them and, um, uh, you know, pray with them and, and, and try and comfort them the most I can. And, um, uh, and again, that, that's the biggest thing I want people to understand about this. That's the most important thing that happened that day. Those three young men's lives taken away. And we just can't, we, we got to do whatever we can to stop it. And, um, you know, you know, all the uh, uh, security measures you put in place, it's not going to equal us just talking to kids and, and just trying to communicate and uh, making sure, we, you know, we can find out who, who's in need and who needs help. And, uh, just go to work every day trying to figure out what what someone's problem is and help them.